Yo guys, and welcome back towards this new video here on the channel. On today's video, I will be discussing Bitcoin, Ethereum, and I will be going over my predictions and what I do think this market is probably going to be playing out here in the coming few hours ahead of ourselves. So, if this feels interesting for you, don't forget to right away slap off that like button, watch this video till the end, and of course, consider smashing up that subscriber button if you haven't already. So, with that being said, guys, Let's jump right away in towards the content. So, what we can currently see here is that Bitcoin is still creating and still is trading in this some kind of a bull flag scenario. In such kind of a scenario, Bitcoin usually tends to come down massively with its RSI and what is also the thing that we're currently seeing. Bitcoin pumped up massively, of course, went extremely overbought, and since of the point it started being consolidating towards the downside, it has been forming decreasements in RSI. And right now, I personally do still think we are going to be breaking towards the upside. I also think there are still some risk attached towards this trading opportunity for an extension for Bitcoin to continue its movement towards the upside. So... I do think it's likely to expect a breakout towards the upside and of course such kind of a breakout target is going to be bringing Bitcoin quite far here to levels around the 50,000 US dollars. And what I do really expect here as soon as Bitcoin does break above that 48.3k target is that we're then going to start to see some more exponential price surges towards the upside. So hopefully we can see a breakout towards the upside for Bitcoin. And personally, I will be only look for a major continuation for Bitcoin as soon as we do break above this dotted line over here. Because that will be basically for me suggest there is going to be really come such kind of a short squeeze. Then looking at the 4 early time frame for Bitcoin, it is also looking like a very interesting consolidation uh, strategy and a consolidation phase here. If I'm going to zoom out a little bit more here, we do know that this range, this green box of support here, has been previously pr around provided very strong support, has been providing very strong resistance. So if Bitcoin is really going to come down here from off this range and is going to retest that 45.5k target, I will be most certainly look for new long positions. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to be opening, of course, a new major position. And if I do open this trade on the 45.5k, I will be, of course, very pleased because that is going to be a very strong entry. So I do definitely look forward towards what we're going to get from up that range here. Of course, if we're as well going to zoom out here, this strategy and this market structure does remind me really from a previous market structure we've seen here. First of all, Bitcoin on the finally time frame is forming higher lows on the market and at the same time it is forming lower lows on the RSI. What does it mean? It basically means that we're seeing a hidden bearish, a bullish divergence. RSI is coming down, price action forming higher lows. This is a very likely scenario to see another continuation towards the upside for the Bitcoin price action. But then let me quickly talk about this historic thing I've seen several times before in the market and this historic thing about why I do think the market can be most certainly see a further continuation up. So first of all, Note how Bitcoin has been moving up very quickly and has been consolidating for a while towards the uh, sideways price section right here and the RSI is falling off very quickly. If we're going to look at the last market reversal where we were trading in this massive downtrend here on October, um, sorry, September in towards October, we've seen similar things here. We've been seeing the market, of course, creeping up very quickly, seeing sideways consolidation. At the same time, the RSI did came down massively. We created a lot of bearish divergence along the way up here. And of course, still yet afterwards, we moved up even further. And even with this other structure over here, we pumped up with a short squeeze because everyone was shorting this market because we were creating so many bearish divergence. And at that same time, we consolidated towards the side sideways action. RSI came down massively. And at that same time, the price action still yet more moved up again. So I personally see a lot of similarities to our previous market reversals. And even though the market is indeed going to look very weak, if it is going to spike back up here, because we're going to create a major bearish divergence, that is going to be a suggestion, a suggestion that a lot of people are going to open short positions on that push up here. And that is going to then where once again suggest we're going to be probably even pumped further on. Because the more shorts that are going to get flown in towards this market, the more the market is going to look bullish basically. So I am actually not all too bearish right here, and I'm actually really expecting a continuation up. However, I don't necessarily expect that we can only go up from here on, because we still still also do have this CME gap below us. The CME gap could be giving us some troubles, because filling up the CME gap means that Bitcoin has to come down towards that 44.8k target. If we're going to come down towards the 44.8k, yeah... 
it means a pretty significant decrease on the price section, approximately 5% decrease, man, but it will be allowing us to, of course, get a very good entry in towards this market. So 44.8K, 44.5K, 44.8K approximately, is going to be a very strong target to be potentially look at long positions. So yeah, it is looking quite interesting over there. And if we're going to come down and if we're going to really fall below the 46.5K, I do right away expect we are going to touch that level of the 44.8k to right away fill up the CME gap completely. And of course, as soon as we do fill it, I personally think we're going to come up right away very quickly afterwards. Then looking at the Bitcoin daily time frame, it does also look pretty interesting right here. Of course, we do know we broke a critical resistance slash supply zone over here. And since breaking above this supply zone, I personally think Bitcoin is in, in a very strong trend here where it can start to come up very quickly again. We also broke our critical downtrend and since seeing that we both basically moved above the most critical resistance zones. Right now the next critical resistance zone to be breaking is going to be that 48,000 US dollar barrier on the daily time frame. You can see we've got a lot of rejections. We've got a lot of supportive touches, basically a lot of significance is getting traded around this range here. And because there's so much significance getting traded around this range, I personally do expect this is going to be a major level for major market volatility. And if we do break above it, we can start to see massive market movements towards the upside. As well, if we do look at the VPVR, we do know that we're still trading against these critical and high volume ranges. And as soon as we do break above that 50k here, we're basically entering these low volume ranges, while like you can see on the right side of the screen and low volume ranges basically mean that we can start to move up in a more rapid pace through those ranges over there so that is actually looking pretty interesting if you would ask me weekly time frame for bitcoin is both still bouncing off this uh, upward sloping support line perfectly and like you can see we also create this downward sloping trend line here on the weekly time frame and we are about to retest this trend line a break above this weekly trend line will be of course extremely bullish will be considered extremely bullish for bitcoin and what I really want to be seeing here is that Bitcoin goes back in towards these overbought territoriums. Because if Bitcoin is overbought on the weekly time frame, it basically means that we are in stages where euphoria is ruling in the market. And once euphoria is ruling, we can start to move up, especially as quick like we did in the beginning of 2021. And that is exactly what we do want to see. So if Bitcoin goes overbought, I'm not necessarily going to be bearish. I would love to see Bitcoin going overbought because that means that we're in euphoria stages, just like, just like we were here in the beginning of 2021 here. So that is exactly what I do want to be seeing right now, right there. Talking about the funding rates, to really give you guys a uh, direction about where I do think Bitcoin is heading towards later today, we can currently see that the funding is pretty much negative across all exchanges. We can see we are yeah, basically sweeping around with the funding, but still, it looks to be that there is a lot of trap short positions open here. And these people that are in short positions are likely to, of course, get more and more uh, in towards a short position. So... Like I said, if Bitcoin does break about 48.3k, I personally think the real short squeeze is going to get start to get squeezed out there, and then we can start to go more exponential. So yeah, still negative funding rates, meaning that there is of course a very high possibility for another short squeeze, and that is basically for me a clear direction that the market can still move up from up this point with all the other opinions we currently are having here on this market. As well on my trade yesterday, I closed my other trade against neutral. No profits, no loss here. I just opened it and closed it again because uh, at my entry, because I was thinking, oh, this is looking a little bit too risky here. So I exited my trade here. Um, and right now, I actually am looking for a new trade. And I probably will be right away post my new trade here on my Telegram signal group here after this video is live because I do see a very good opportunity right now occur and a very good entry strategy. What will be basically guarantee us a low risk for high reward. So... If you want to be checking this out, don't forget to check out the link in the description where you can see our Telegram yeah, signal group basically getting found out here. Uh, and of course, if you join that, you can basically stay up to date with all the trades we are taking on this market. At the same time as well, don't forget to, of course, subscribe towards this channel. And of course, check out Bybit here in the link in the description if you do want to be trading this market as well, just like we are doing as well here. If you do use the link in the description, you will be getting a 4,800 US dollars deposit bonus, what is extremely valuable to use here. Of course, Ethereum compared to Bitcoin does look also still very strong here. We broke bullish and we're right now as well continuing the market further on towards the upside. And it looks to be that we are still have a lot of room to gain here. Of course, the merch is going to come up here within two to three months from now on. And that is going to be probably result in the massive hype run up for Ethereum. 
So do I really think Ethereum is already uh, done enough or is Ethereum already done for its rally? No, I do think it's just getting started. And I think Ethereum is one of the best assets to hold right now here since it has been, of course, starting to break this down trend against Bitcoin. And it can and could just start to go parabolic once again towards that upside target. Um, and then as well, looking at Ethereum here on the daily time frame, it also looks very strong here. You can see how the EMA ribbon crossed here bullish last time around, like you can see over here. And right now, look at how we're crossing bullish again here. Look at how last time we moved up very exponentially. And look at how we are right now already starting to be moving up exponentially again. So things are starting to creep up again here as well. We can see altcoins are starting to um, explode again as well today, yesterday. And there is a lot of opportunities here to... Um, make some very significant gains on coins like uh yeah like a lot of coins like v chain look at that exploding right here so ethereum also suggesting there's going to come much much more so as well for all the other altcoins this is getting uh there's a very likely scenario that we're even going to see more and more gains for altcoins come towards the market in the coming days in the coming years and in the coming weeks ahead of ourselves so it is looking very good right here and i'm very bullish on altcoins in general this was today's update video if you did enjoy it don't forget to smash up that like button it will be highly appreciated, guys. Can we get it towards 400 likes today? It will be absolutely amazing. And at the same time, I would love to ask you guys if you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, of course, if you do want to be staying up to date right away once I do post these videos, smash up that bell notification as well. That was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.